this is my honest and urgent appeal to the big democracies of the world. I, Colonel M. D. Shuddin Khan, PSA retired, a Bangladeshi retired colonel, have been living in the UK for the last 10 years, but I am still the citizen of Bangladesh. Today, this appeal is for helping Bangladesh. This is regarding not interfering. My country, my people are trying their best. They have done it once. They proved it once in 1971. And world community also helped to liberate the country and to get the independence in 1971. And we are also capable, even today, in this catastrophic minutes, to face this and win over. But there is some, of, I mean, things are not functioning properly. Because for the last 11 years, possibly the world leaders have got the wrong information uh, through their sources. Because I don't know they worked as proper source of information provided, or they have uh, been worked as the lobbyist for our Bangladeshi, this, uh, uh, what do you call, um, interest groups. They have been telling that Bangladesh is the, or the, even our Honorable Prime Minister said that Bangladesh is the role model of development. And this to give only some human rights problem like uh, abduction, uh, then uh, extrajudicial killing, and all these things. But uh, even the human rights organizations is to tell about the human rights violations, but at the end is to say that seven to eight percent growth and so and so forth. If this is so, why today we have we are failing? Rather, we have failed to address this issue, this catastrophic menace that is coronavirus pandemic. Today, it's not only the financial resilience that we don't have, it's also that the system is not functioning. The lockdown was told on 21st March by the Honorable Prime Minister that there will be, uh, there will be lockdown, people will, should stay at home. But what is happening? The governments, industries started, hundreds and thousands of people have come and joined the governments for the production. What is this paradox is on tech atomic? Nobody is caring. The pandemic has started almost nearly three months. Today, uh, the 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 uh, the IEDRC, I mean the related person said, I mean the government also said that 400 people have been tested today, as of today. I mean this is fifth uh, fifth April. What a what a ridiculous estimation. A country of 170 million. And only 400 people have been tested today after about three months. And few one or two days before, they said 100 plus minus. Because of what? Because the government could not address the issue in proper due, due course of time. They did not bring the testing material. They did not procure the PE, PPE in due course of time. There is no ventilation, ventilators and so on and so forth for the treatment. And Honorable Prime Minister declared for 5,000. Uh, you know, uh, 5,000 crore, uh, I mean, uh, money for the people uh, to help the poor people. But where is that money? If the money has gone to the poor people, how they have come to the industry to work? They could not maintain the, uh, uh, for even, even for a week, plus minus, I mean, more than a week to maintain the uh, uh, lockdown. So this is the condition. So where it, it lies? Today is the 5th April, it's the second year, the abduction of my people and killing a captain, honorary captain of Bangladesh Army. His son is serving as a major. He did not know why his father was kidnapped and, uh, 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 and tortured for 10 years, then killed. Cannot ask for the justice. Don't take it to be a personal matter of mine. This is what has happened. A citizen like me has faced like this. Then what is happening throughout the country? So what does it mean that Mafia Gong, Tarish Siddiq, who is the relative to the Honorable Prime Minister as well as the security advisor to the Prime Minister, and his office is just within three meters of the Prime Minister. He is the only uh, minister 
uh, uh, who has the uh, office beside the prime minister's office in the red block. And he has not been taken to task for last two years. And this is how country has been running for last 11 years. That's why the governance that we want to mean is not working. The governance system is not working. That's why they have failed to address the issue today. So I say, I request upon the, urge upon the world community, help our country not only for the, uh, for the testing kits or for ventilation, ventilators or, 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 or for the PP and others, or money. Thank you very much. The World uh, Bank has given, today I have heard, $1 million, uh, $100 million. So it's not only money that would work. It is that Prime Minister must be independent, as she has been telling for the last 11 years. At, at one stage, she said that our country, even a few days before in the parliament, that our country has been more developed and a more, I mean, the stronger in economy than Singapore. If it is so, Singapore could control this menace. But where we are, only 400 tests until today, after about three months. So we may have money, we may have many things, but the government system is not working. There may be two things. Either Prime Minister is part of that uh, 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 Tarek Mafia Gong, or she cannot work for them. She has been told to talk only, no action, they will act. That's why the government's machineries are not working. And that's why the, the people, I mean, the 170 million people's life at stake. We even do not know how to do. Our communities are helping to each other. People are courageous enough to help each other. That's their doing. But there is no direction. There is uh, uh, no specific orders from the government telling lockdown, again opening the industries. This is what is happening. So it's not only I'm asking, requesting the world community to only help, but also I've been telling these things for last two months and, uh, and a half through various media to help not only money or equipment and materials, but also ensure that our prime minister can independently work for the people. She got rid of those, uh, uh, those mafia gong, Tarek Siddiq gong, and she can work all by herself with the common people. And people are also ready, but they need the leadership. And this is the time for our prime minister to prove. This is the time for the world community in this global village, global village is not only for commercial purpose. In this global village, the big democracies should also ensure that democracy, rule of law, human rights. These all are confirmed in all the on the all the houses of the village. It's not that the big democracies are practicing democracy within their country. In the same global village, the other country. The autocracy, mismanagement. I don't want to say that our country is at the on the blink of the failed state, but before it happens, almost is near it. Before it happens, I fervently request the world community to come forward to do something. I know every country is in problem at the moment, but whatever you can do, at least to ensure that the the, the 170 million people gets the independence on again, once again, to work together and survive. And the leadership also works. And the Mafia, Tarek Siddiq Gong, their group is no more there. They have already siphoned billions of money from the country. The world community can also ensure that that money comes back to Bangladesh for to face this uh, the menace. Please do something at the moment. If I've done something wrong, please forgive me. Thank you very much. Goodbye.